So as I'm working towards getting video out of this GoPro bus connector with this little breakout board that I got from Connecticut Systems, I wanted to talk you through my findings related to uh, 5.8 gigahertz transmitters and receivers. And before I get video out of the bus connector, I wanted to make sure just that my wireless transmitter setup uh, was okay. So you can see I have this ready-made RC cable going out and it's wired into my breadboard and then I have this range video 200 milliwatt transmitter and that's talking wirelessly to my RC305 receiver. Video is working, transmitting nicely, wirelessly and currently I have the transmitter powered by this variable power supply but the goal is, next up I will use this breakout out of the GoPro uh, to power this transmitter and get video out of it at the same time. And within the 5.8 gigahertz spectrum there are uh, three different bands. And so what I had to learn the hard way is if you have a Hobby King FPV setup, it'll normally consist of this RC305 and this TS351 transmitter and these communicate using the E-band and in the E-band there are eight different frequencies I'll show you a link on Hobby King that I use very frequently just to make sure that I have uh, the right hardware for 5.8 gigahertz FPV and now if you take a look at the RC305 product page on the Hobby King site, you scroll down to the files section, there's a great uh, file called frequency table. And so looking through that you can tell uh, the different frequencies for each band. And so that's where I came to the realization that when I purchased my initial transmitter off of eBay, it was an A-band transmitter that went from you know 5.725 gigahertz all the way up to 5.865 and that wasn't working with my Hobby King receiver. So I ended up getting a transmitter and receiver from Range Video, but if I would have purchased an E-band transmitter, then that would have worked fine with my Hobby King receiver. So this is just something to keep in mind if you're trying to piece together a 5.8 gigahertz solution. So what I learned is that this Range Video transmitter operates in the A band and so this was not compatible with my Hobby King RC305 uh, receiver and I had to purchase another RC305 receiver that works on the A band and I'm optimistic that in my next update I will be able to demonstrate getting both power and video out of the bus connector through this breakout board to this uh, range video 200 milliwatt transmitter so I'll be working through that over the next few days and be posting an update when I have that figured out. So until then, please feel free to post any questions or comments below. And thank you for watching.